gentlemen, that was York, otherwise known as Troy Keeper. Hey folks, by a quick show of hands, how many people believe that the hand is quicker than the eye? All right, how many people do not believe the hand is quicker than the eye? How many people don't give a damn? <laughs> yeah, that's like me. We don't really care. Actually, what we're concerned about is the hand faster than this. Does anybody know what that is? Well, somebody said bear trap. Who said bear trap? I don't think you're going to do anything except piss off that bear with this thing. Anyway, this is known as an Oneida Victor one and a half. This is a small animal trap. This is used for catching raccoons, possums, things like that. In fact, if you have a pretty good sized dog, if you put this thing on the kitchen floor, your dog, if he steps in it, he might yike for a minute, but it's not going to kill him. On the other hand, if you have a cat, this will screw a cat up real good. <laughs> Let me uh, demonstrate how this thing works here. If you push down on this main part here, that's the spring. I get you. <laughs> we open up the jaws like that. The round thing in the middle is known as the trip or the trigger. To give you an idea of how fast these things are, I'll go through from the bottom so I don't get caught in it. And you, yeah, they hit hard, they hit fast. These are solid steel. This one's still got a little hair stuck in the jaws right there. But it kept me without kids for 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> and now folks what we are going to do is we're going to play a little game the game is called is the hand faster than the trap what we're going to do is this I'm going to hand it to you sir you can stay right where you're at I'll just toss it down to you you catch it when it comes to you okay now the objective is this you take this you you, you stick your hand in there you hit it and get the hell out as fast as you can if you don't well, let me say, if you do, you have the luxury of passing it to whoever you want. Okay? If, if you don't get out of it, these people are going to have a whole lot of fun. Yeah. A lot more than you. But then you just keep passing it down until somebody, well, I probably is not going to get that far. What I'll do is I'll go first to kind of demo how this thing works. And uh, sure, I've done this before. You go in and out really, really fast here, just like this. Don't take pictures of this. Here we go. Oh, oh. Ow! oh, come on, guys. It's a trick. I got this at Wendy's. It came in the chili. Man, these things hurt like hell. You lied to me. Oh, hang on a second. Ow. Okay, so much for that sleight of hand stuff I was going to do. <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> Timing is everything. <laughs> I feel much better. Thank you, guys. All right, let's bring out our next performer. This is Mike Tate. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mike Tate, and this here is Dr. Odd. And you spell that O D D. Uh, Dr. Odd, I uh, understand you have a degree. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, where is your degree? I got it on, under Arn the Older. <laughs> uh, Dr. Odd, uh, what about a Ph.D.? Do you have a Ph.D.? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, where is it? It's hanging in the garage. In the garage? Yeah, a whole full digger. <laughs> uh, Dr. Odd, a few uh, people wrote into the show here. And, uh, a gentleman wrote in and he... Uh, I wanted to ask you a question here. Uh, says he uh, broke his arm and uh, 
He broke his arm in two places. Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, stay out of those places. <laughs> okay, uh, Dr. Odd, there, uh, another guy wrote in, he said, uh, how do you keep, he wants to know how to keep his nose from bleeding. <laughs> I did his own business. Yeah, okay. Uh, here, uh, a lady wrote in, she wanted to know uh, what happened to the little boy that swallowed uh, four quarters. Uh, no change yet. Uh, and here's a lady that you had interviewed in your office there, and you told her that she was crazy. Oh, uh, yes, I did. Uh, she wants a second opinion. Uh, tell her she's ugly, too. <laughs> and also, we have a gentleman here that would like to... Uh, come and see in his office there. He, uh, he said he has a, a split personality. Uh, what do you recommend? Oh, bring an extra chair. And, uh, okay. And, uh, there's a gentleman he's, he's wanting to come see and he said he's got memory loss. Uh, what do you recommend? Hot. Memory loss. What do you recommend, Dr. Odd? Pay in advance. <laughs> okay. Uh, another gentleman here, he uh, wrote in and he said uh, he'd like to know how to save his hair. Shoe box. Shoe box. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's a lady, she wrote in, she said her husband is always coughing. Uh, what could you do for that? x -lax. X lax. Yeah, he won't want to call. <laughs> uh, another gentleman wrote in here and he says he uh, has excessive wind. Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, get a kite. Uh, here's a lady, uh, she wrote in and she'd like to know uh, what can she do about ringing in her ear? Uh, don't answer. <laughs> And uh, here it says here, a uh, lady wrote in, she wanted to know, uh, how did you lose 130 pounds? I got a divorce from her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have another question here, one more question. And uh, a lady wrote in, she said uh, she's been married for 10 years and her husband is not interested in sex any longer. Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, give her a telephone number. <laughs> okay. And it says here you do some uh, singing impersonations. Is that right, Dr. Ott? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, here's one, uh, Willie Nelson. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, uh, I need a drink of water here, just a second. Oh, you waited for me. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Willie Nelson. On the road again. Just can't we get on the road again. The life of love is making music with our friend. I can't we get on the road again. And, uh, Conway Twitty. Who? Conway Twitty. Country <laughs> Western thing. <laughs> People see us everywhere. They think you really care. But myself, I can't deceive. I know it only makes me leave. Yeah. And, uh, Johnny Cash. Oh, here the train I come. Here we're rolling around the bend. Well, I ain't seen the sun set since I don't know when. <laughs> and uh, last, Elvis Presley. Uh, we got to get in the royal wardrobe here.
Try burn. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> 